So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a patch antenna that will give you around 4.5 dBi extremely simple to make out of cardboard and copper tape and yes it does look like a Pac-Man so to make this simple patch antenna you're going to need some of this copper foil and this is 70 millimeters thick and uh, again I've used this in uh, quite a few videos now and like I said you can pick this up on eBay it's pretty cheap it's not expensive at all so what we're going to need to do is actually use a compass and draw two circles with a diameter of 62 millimeters so if you mark off on a ruler your compass you want it set to 31 millimeters and find the center and I try not to waste too much of this copper tape and draw yourself two circles and then we can go ahead and cut out these two circles so I've got the two circles cut out so this one I'm going to put to one side because that's going to be the reflector and I'm going to take this one here and I'm just going to put a little mark where the indentation is for the centre that the compass made and I'm going to take my ruler and I want to cut out a slice of this that is uh, 8 millimetres thick so I get my ruler and on the side here just mark off 8 millimetres and then I can draw straight lines going back to the centre and then you can take the scissors and you can cut your wedge out so you want to find yourself some card and it wants to be pretty rigid this is some that I've recycled from a uh, multimeter box and uh, it's quite thin but still quite rigid and what we're going to do we're going to stick both the driven element and the reflector onto here and then we're going to cut them out of the cardboard I find with this stuff if you don't peel it away all at once and you just do it in little stages like this you get less kinks in it so what we're going to do now is get the scissors and just cut these out of the cardboard so to complete the construction of this antenna these two discs need to be exactly 15 millimeters apart and what I've got here is a block of corrugated cardboard that I just made from a strip of uh, some normal old cardboard box and this four pieces together just happen to be exactly 15 millimeters and I'm going to use that as the block in between and what I'm going to do is glue it together like so and I'm going to have them facing opposites to each other the reason I'm going to do it that way is because I've cut my coax and my SMA connector like this that uh, dielectric that's left there is exactly 15 millimeters long and I'm going to solder to the outside the outer braid here to this part of the uh, copper and then this will stick up just like a surface mount come through that hole and I can solder directly onto there so to make sure that the two holes lined up correctly I just stuck the top disc on whilst I had a piece of copper wire going through both holes so uh, I know that they both line up so the outer braid of the coax I've just gone and flared it out with my finger and thumb and what I'm going to do now is put some tin on both of these and then feed it through like so and then I can solder them in place and uh, we've got a nice connection between them both so I've tinned the uh, wires up and I haven't soldered them in place yet but uh, you can see what a good connection it is because I've all I've done is bent the centre coax over here and it's holding itself in place so I can just leave it on the bench like that and we can come in with our soldering iron just flow some solder and then we can do the same on the base So the antenna is connected to the alpha card and I'm just scanning my test router which is a decent distance away 
and it's definitely up there in the 80s so it uh, it's uh, not too shy of what uh, a single bike would do so quite impressive and of course it is directional so I'm just moving it around trying to tune it in a little bit there but uh, one more thing I wanted to note as well is just because this is a circle it uh, has not got circular polarization and in another video I will show you how you can add circular polarization to patch antennas it's, uh, it's actually quite easy but uh, you've got to have two separate feeds going into the uh, driven element on the plane so I hope uh, you enjoyed that and uh, if you found it interesting please give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one